European traders. Cable finally resolved this trend line yesterday and early this morning. Yesterday we printed a high of 47, which broke the sort of short term aspect of the line, but the daily line up there at around 47 was broke this morning, 2 a.m. Central European time. Since we've broken 47, we have been higher ever since. 134.70, as you see now. Today, you want to just try and accumulate uh, cable on the bid. So, anywhere between 45 and 25, you want to buy the sterling with a stop below 10, which was very close to today's low. The other thing on our mind this morning is uh, is yen. Uh, yesterday, we saw dollar yen break the 200-day moving average at 70. Uh, we saw Yellen be marginally hawkish, even though she's a lame duck now. She sort of made it clear they want this normalization path to happen. Bonds went down pretty hard, and so the yen is under pressure. Dollar yen itself, technically, not super clear. You just kind of want to, if you want to trade the dollar yen side of it, you want to try and pick up cheap dollars. Keep in mind today is month end. There'll be a month end fix, which undoubtedly will be a dollar sell. Um, but uh, we want to try and pick up dollars and use this 70 as, as your kill zone. But if you look at some of these yen crosses, there's some better technical setups. You have this euro yen here, this horizontal at 133.23, and CAD yen. Two doji esque days after a down move. Uh, 87.24 on an OPEC announcement day. So that could either be amazingly good or amazingly bad for all you CAD yen people, but if OPEC keeps the cuts in place and oil goes higher, CAD yen will inevitably follow. This could be something interesting. Also on a cross that I don't trade too often, the setup is, is pretty nice. Swiss yen, 200 day moving average here at 92. A bunch of highs here at 95. I have no idea why Swiss yen would go higher except for it would just kind of dollar yen would just drive it and dollar Swiss will do nothing but this is a very interesting level, 113.95 in Swiss yen. Keep in mind, uh, Swiss yen has a much lower volatility than the other yen crosses, so you know, don't shoot for the moon, Swiss yen. What else is happening out there? Uh, I just wanted to swing over to Boons for a second because it's a nice setup, and since fixed income is going lower. If we get confirmation of Boone's lower at the open here, getting short, if we make a new low through 40, and then you want to just sort of accumulate shorts between 40 and 55 with a stop loss above 64. Looks like a decent technical setup, um, so check that out. What else are we looking at here? Let's have a quick look at the oil market since OPEC is today. Indecisive, big range yesterday. Doesn't really know what to do. You'll know if they don't come to an agreement, we'll be below 56.77. And if they do come to an agreement, this 59, the figure, is, is very, very important. My bias is oil lower, basically based upon U.S. fracking and just general supply, global supply and availability of oil, but uh, I'm not much of an oil trader, so keep that to myself, I guess. Okay, that's about it. We're basically, the main theme is selling yen today. Uh, we'll try and pick up some cable uh, if we get the chance, and I'll talk to you guys in New York Open. Ciao.